Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to update your rooted Nexus without using a computer. Now this is something I've been trying to do forever. The downside to rooting is that you can no longer receive OTA updates, but timely updates are probably the biggest reason to buy a Nexus. The second biggest reason is that it's really easy to root a Nexus, so there's an obvious conflict there. In the past, you've always had to hook your device up to a computer and run fastboot commands to flash the updated firmware, and that's always a pain. But now, thanks to an update to developer Chainfire's root flashing tool, you can finally update your rooted Nexus entirely from your phone. The tool is an app called Flashfire, and I've covered it in the past, but the newest beta version is the one you want. So to get that one installed, head to step one in my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, where you'll find a direct link to the latest Flashfire beta. But believe it or not, the process of updating your rooted Nexus is incredibly simple. To start, do a Google search for factory images for Nexus devices, then tap the first result that isn't an ad. From here, you can expand this contents category to view all devices, so just select your particular Nexus from this list. Next, scroll down to the bottom of this little table, then tap the download link for the latest firmware version. It's a pretty big file, so it'll probably take about 5 minutes to download. I'll skip ahead to when that's done. So when the factory image package is saved to your device, go ahead and open the latest beta version of Flashfire. If this is your first time running the app, you'll have to tap Grant on the super user access request, then wait a few seconds for it to do its thing. When you make it to the main menu though, go ahead and tap the floating action button in the bottom right corner. From here, select Flash Firmware Package, then open your download folder and select the factory image package that you just downloaded. At this point, Flashfire will scan the archive, which should take somewhere around a minute. When it's done there, you'll see a menu where you can select the individual factory images that you'd like to flash. If you're not sure about any of this, I'd recommend just leaving everything selected as it is, but there are some options you might want to consider. First of all, if you have a custom recovery installed and you want to keep it after the update, make sure to deselect the recovery option. Secondly, you can flash the newer modem by selecting the corresponding option in this list, but I wouldn't recommend it because you run a slight risk of breaking your phone. But at the very least, make sure you flash the system, vendor, and boot images, because those are the core elements of the update, so leave those options selected no matter what. Then when you're done with all that, press the check mark at the top of the screen. Now at this point you're ready to update to the newer Android version, but let's say you have the exposed framework installed and you want to keep it after you update. Now this is purely optional, but if that's the case, tap the floating action button again, but this time choose Flash, Zip, or OTA. From here, you can select the exposed installer zip and have it queued up automatically to be flashed right after the update, in which case you would already have exposed installed as soon as you get back up. But with all that considered, there's only one thing left to do now. So from Flashfire's main menu here, scroll down to the very bottom of the screen, then tap the flash button. From here, press OK on the pop-up, then get ready to try out the new version of Android. Now don't freak out when your screen turns black for 10 or 20 seconds, because that's supposed to happen. Then when it's done with that part, you'll see a wall of text scrolling by. This is Flashfire actually updating your phone, and if you read closely, you can see exactly what it's doing. One of the best parts of updating with Flashfire like this is that it automatically reroutes your phone when it's done, so you don't have to worry about that. But overall, the process will take somewhere between 5 and 15 minutes, and when it's done, your phone will automatically reboot back into Android. The first boot is going to take a little while because it has to rebuild the ARC cache. So just be patient and wait as long as 15 minutes for it to finish booting. When you get back up though, you'll be running the latest version of Android, and you'll already be rooted again. But for a more in-depth guide, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.